Okay, we gotta talk about NFT hate. Now I fucking hate NFTs. I just, I hate it. I hate it. I hate- Don't want to do another episode on NFTs. I swear to God, if a video surfaced of you slapping and spitting on your grandmother and then a video of you promoting NFTs dropped on the same day, people would be more upset about the NFT promotion. Give me your fucking money, you stupid fuck. This is disgusting. People really hate NFTs. And as somebody that's deep in this world, Honestly, it doesn't really make sense to me. And as more and more big companies get into this space, the new Adidas NFT that was released, Starbucks is launching an NFT. Another company boards the NFT bandwagon, this time Nintendo. And new companies are being built out from NFT projects. Board Ape Yacht Club raised $450 million at a $4 billion post money valuation, right? I wanted to give you guys an insider opinion on why we, The Damn Show, are building in NFTs. If you don't get NFTs, or even if you hate them, keep watching. You might come out on the other side of this video with a new appreciation for NFTs and what's coming in the future of this world. So maybe explain the idea that you had for this video and where that came from. All right, so the other day I was on Twitter and I got this ad from MetaMask explaining why NFTs are more than just uh, monkey pictures. It was like not only monkey pictures, but much more than that. And I was curious, I just went in the comments. I started to read so much hate, so many people saying that they're useless, that people are stupid, don't understand that they have no value, that there is only scams, that it's only a cash grab. Anytime NFTs are mentioned in the mainstream press, the comments can get pretty unhinged. But even with all this hate, we still decided to join the NFT space and see what this was all about. And so I wanted to ask maybe what got her first interested in NFTs. So I'm going to be very honest, like the first thing that really uh, brought me to NFTs was related to investing financial reasons. It was like, okay, I'm probably going to be able to make some money if I learn how to flip these NFTs, if I learn how the market works. But pretty early, I understood that that was not for me. I'm not good as a trader. I don't spend every day just buying and selling NFTs. That's not what I do. I found out uh, that there was so much more going on in the background. So I bought some NFTs and uh, fortunately, um, some of them were scams and some of them were actually real companies and real communities around. And I found out that thanks to these NFTs, I could actually get to uh, interact with so many people that bought the same NFT. It's like being part of a club or being part of a you know community that believes in the same mission or enjoys the same kind of content that you can talk to and uh, have you know relationships with. And thanks to that, I got to meet so many people that now I can call my friends. Even this show, the people that are doing the damn show, we met through NFTs. It's all thanks to that and those communities that we were able to to get together and build this. That was like the first thing that really caught my attention. And I think the social part is very important. With these communities that I found in NFTs, there's actually a continuous exchange of opinions and conversations. And we really go deep until we really get to know their personalities. I feel like it's a social connection that it goes much deeper than what previous social media was giving us. And what maybe he's touching on here is really important to understand. While many people came to the space initially looking for financial returns, people ended up staying because of the connections that they made with so many other people across the world. And some of the smartest people with the really impressive backgrounds are working in the space right now. Yeah, that's like uh, another very important reason that got me to stay in the NFT space. When I started to do my research and uh, uh, get to know who were the people behind the most successful projects, I was really amazed when I read the resume. We have people that sold their own companies to Disney, people that have been organizing the biggest festivals in the world, Coachella, for example, people that took care of the visual effects of greatest events in the world, for example, the Super Bowl halftime show. Gaio Siri, we have, which is uh, uh, Madonna's manager, Red Hot Chili Peppers, very involved in all that and very involved in, uh, in NFTs. And that's a huge part of it. It's not super well known, but there's a bunch of bright minds from a lot of different industries that are all working in and around NFTs. 
And being in this space and building for us also means that we get a chance to shape the future of what NFTs looks like. Because it's so brand new, there's so much more impact that your actions and what you decide to build has on the future. As an example, let's hear from Maybe again. She has a Web2 Shopify online store, and since being in Web3 and NFTs, she sees this as a totally new way to market and create community around your products and give people an experience totally different than what's possible right now in Web2. So I've been doing all of all the online business stuff for maybe six, seven years already. And there is so much content out about how to do your Shopify, how to sell on TikTok, how to do this, how to do that. It gets to a point that everybody is doing kind of the same thing. It's always the same kind of way to reach a customer and then make them buy your product. What I saw with NFTs was a completely revolutionized way to engage with your customer, which is not a customer anymore, but becomes a fan, becomes part of what you're doing and they get rewarded over and over again for being there for you. It was a complete revolution for me. Uh, everything was so new that I was like, uh, I really want to get into this because I see how this can be in introduced in the future and create a way to do business that it's completely different from what we have seen until now. Web 2 was becoming boring for me. Web 3 is exciting. We want to be more connected with the brands that we are buying. And this is what Web 3 is doing. And this is why Starbucks, for example, they launched their NFT and now they're, they're testing different things, uh, making their holders even more connected and even more part of what the Starbucks company is. So whether you believe in the future of this technology or you still think it's just a monkey JPEG. The future is pretty uncertain, but if you're early in this space, you get a chance to shape it, and that's what we're most excited about. Hey, if you like this kind of video, let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. If you're an NFT hater, give us your reasons. If you love NFTs, let us know why you love them. 